So ask yourself if you're one of these people that are so sensitive, that are so fragile, that you need a point to be made to you and presented to you in such a certain type of manner. Can you actually be helped? What's good everyone? Just out here getting after it once again. You know what it is? And I hope all you guys out there are doing just the same. Continuing on this journey to be able to create better individuals to give back to your dogs and your family units. Now, I just got back from my morning run and I thought I'd share with you this concept that's been pondering on my mind over the last couple of weeks. And that is how people shift the goalpost within the way a message needs to be delivered towards them behind the point that is being made towards them. Now think about this. Think about the way are continuously trying to censor what the point is that's being made and presented towards them because they want this message and they want the point to be made and delivered within a pretty little parcel that does not upset them, that does not interfere with the way that they feel about things, even when what they are doing and what they are conducting themselves behind is drastically wrong. You ask yourself, for these individuals out there that need the points to be made or that need these messages to be delivered in such a pretty little presentable way, do you think that these people can actually be helped? Because to me, the way I look at it, these individuals are just constantly shifting the goalpost. They refuse to digest the information in a way that can actually help them. They refuse to digest this information, the facts of what it is that they're doing and what's being presented towards them within a healthy way so that they could absorb this into their mind and then therefore start applying it. Think about this. If I tell you that the sky is blue or the sky is fucking blue, does that change the fact that the sky is actually blue? If somebody tells me, Juzzy, you're an amputee, you're missing half your arm. Or somebody says to me, well Juzzy, maybe take into consideration that you're missing half your arm, that you're missing a limb. For those of you that didn't know, there it is. Does that change the fact that I'm an amputee and that I'm missing a limb? No, it does not. But if I'm an individual out there that needs to be spoken to in such a coddled way, that I need the facts presented to me in such a pretty little parcel, what is it that I'm actually doing? I'm tone policing you, I'm censoring you, I'm censoring the authenticity Therefore, stripping away at the power and the facts behind the points and the message that you're actually trying to help me with. So ask yourself if you're one of these people that are so sensitive, that are so fragile, that you need a point to be made to you and presented to you in such a certain type of manner. Can you actually be helped? Because you know what? For those people out there that understand where true change really comes from, think about this. This is the way life works. True change does not come from a place of being comfortable, does it? True change does not come from a place where you think everything is fine and dandy. Understand that true change comes from a place of being that uncomfortable within who you are and what it is that you're doing or within the situation or circumstances that you are presented with, that you actually do something about it, that you actually change something up about this. And for people that understand these concepts, they're not gonna be out there trying to censor the way a message is delivered or presented to them. A lot of people say they want change, but they don't want it bad enough to change themselves. 
They don't want it bad enough to look within. They don't want it bad enough to hold themselves accountable to the changes that actually need to be made. Understand that true change comes from a place where you do not allow the shoe to fit anymore. Understand that somebody that is a true healer will really trigger you. They will trigger you to the point where you finally get it through your head. When you finally get it through your head to the point that you actually do something about the situation, set of circumstances, or what it is that you're experiencing. How many people do we know within life that live within the same vicious cycle, round and round and round and time and time and time again, no matter where they are in the world, no matter who they're with within the world, it's always the same drama. It's always similar issues. If it's not this, it's that. If it's not that, it's this. How many people do we all know that fit that exact description? Now ask yourself, why do you think that is? Do not be one of these people that are that sensitive and that, are that emotionally fragile that a point needs to be presented to you within a certain way. I've got a saying, fuck the delivery, fuck their feelings. Love is truth, not lies. And I don't say this to be harsh. I say this because you tell me whenever, once, since the beginning of mankind, has a lie, has a sugar-coated truth, or a half-truth actually helped one set of situations, one set of circumstances, or one individual since the beginning of time? It never has. So if you are one of these individuals that get triggered by the truth, ask yourself, whose problem is that? Because when you really dive into it, it ain't our problem, that's your problem. And what's holding you back? What's holding you back is your inability to actually digest the information in a way that is going to be beneficial to you. Your inability to actually accept the truth for what it is. Because you are so coddled up and so intertwined within the web of delusions that you've made up within your own internal narrative. That the second someone strikes a chord on one of those webs to create awareness over what it is that you're actually doing, you become that fucking triggered that you just start shifting the goalpost. No accountability, no acknowledgement of the truth, no adoption of your own responsibilities and what it is that you must uptake within the change for yourself to be better, to do better, to be about it and not just talk about it. Understand the difference. Stop trying to censor the message. Stop trying to censor the points that are being made and presented to you. Stop trying to censor others. Stop trying to strip away from the authenticity and the power of the truth that is presented to you. Understand that love is truth, not lies. And if the truth triggers you, well then you know what? It's up to you to create an individual where that shoe don't fit no more. Heal yourself to heal others and do something about your situation instead of shifting the goalpost time and time and time again. Let that ponder on your mind. Learn to digest this information and the truth in a way that can be so powerful that it incites change for the better. God bless. Peace.